Hello, welcome to Engineers Mindset. So let's say we are given to find partial z partial x and partial z partial y for the given function this. Okay, now this is actually a logarithmic word function. But what I will do here first, I will say let let a be equal to x y plus two multiplied by x y squared minus 2y squared so i will say let a be equal to the whole of this function if that's the case this now implies that z is actually what um log a so we have that z now is actually log a now we are going to actually employ two methods of partial derivative towards differentiate this function first of all I have z equal to log a now, and then a equal to the whole of these terms. This actually makes z a function of a, and makes a a function of what x and y. So this simply means that z is now what a function of a. It also means a itself is a function of both x and y. And if z is a function of a, it means I can find the partial derivative of z with respect to a that's what it means if z is a function of a it means i can differentiate z partially with respect to a and if or if a is a function of x and y it also means i can differentiate a with respect to x partially and also i can differentiate a with respect to y partially because a depends on both x and y so if this is the case now this is now what is called function of a function in differentiation. We have z to be a function of a and a is a function of x and y. So it's called function of a function. And the only rule that is applicable to solving problems in function of a function is called the chain rule. So whenever we have such a situation where one variable becomes a function of the other variable, meanwhile the other variable becomes a function of another variable, that's function of a function. The only rule we can apply to differentiate such is simply what chain rule. So we're going to employ the chain rule of partial derivative to what solve this problem. Okay, so from chain rule, okay, from chain rule of partial derivative, I've said that since z is a function of a, it means I can differentiate z partially with respect to a, and then since a is a function of x and y, it means I can differentiate a with respect to x, also differentiate a with respect to y. So that means if I want to find the partial derivative of z with respect to x from chain rule, then I know now that I can differentiate z with respect to a, I will simply have partial z, partial a, multiplied by, I also know that a itself, which is a different function that can be differentiated with respect to x, since I'm looking for partial z, partial x. So I'll simply have partials A all over partial X. So notice here that partial A can cancel partial A. I simply have partial Z, partial X, which is what I'm looking for. Okay, also, if I want to differentiate Z with respect to Y, same thing, I know that since Z is a function of A, I can differentiate Z partially with respect to what? A, okay? Now, also, since a is a function of x and y, and I want to find partial z partial y, it means I can differentiate a with respect to what? y partially. And that simply gives me partial a partial y, such that partial a cancels partial a, I'm left with what? Partial z partial y, which is also what I'm asked to find. So the only rule I can apply here is simply what? Chain rule of partial derivative. So these are the two formulas I'm going to use to solve. First of all, I need to find partial z partial a because we are going to start with partial z partial x now. So the first thing to do is to what? obtain partial z partial a. And then the next thing to do is to simply find what? Partial a partial x. So let's try it now and see. Okay, so now that I know um, what to do next, simply first of all, this is the formula to find partial z partial x by chain rule. So first thing to do is simply find partial z partial a. So let's bring from from z okay so from z equals log a we we'll simply have log a 
so i can simply find partial z partial a now to differentiate a logarithm function hello welcome to engineers mindset so let's say we are given to find partial z partial x and partial z partial y for the given function this okay now this is actually a logarithmic word function but what i will do here first i will say let uh, let a be equal to x let a be equal to xy plus 2 multiplied by xy squared minus 2y squared so i will say let a be equal to the whole of this function if that's the case this now implies that z is actually what um log a so we have that z now is actually log a now we are going to actually employ two methods of partial derivative towards differentiate this function first of all i have z equal to log a now and then a equal to the whole of these terms this actually makes z a function of a and makes a a function of what x and y so this simply means that z is now what a function of a it also means a itself is a function of both x and y and if z is a function of a it means i can find the partial derivative of z with respect to a that's what it means if z is a function of a it means i can differentiate z partially with respect to a and if or if a is a function of x and y it also means i can differentiate a with respect to x partially and also i can differentiate a with respect to y partially because a depends on both x and y so if this is the case now this is now what is called function of a function in differentiation we have z to be a function of a and a is a function of x and y so it's called function of a function and the only rule that is applicable to solving problems in function of a function is called the chain rule so whenever we have such a situation where one variable becomes a function of the other variable meanwhile the other variable becomes a function of another variable that's function of a function the only rule we can apply to differentiate such is simply what chain rule so we're going to employ the chain rule of partial derivative to what solve this problem okay so from chain rule okay from chain rule of partial derivative i've said that since z is a function of a it means i can differentiate z partially with respect to a and then since a is a function of x and y it means i can differentiate a with respect to x also differentiate a with respect to y so that means if i want to find the partial derivative of z with respect to x from chain rule then i know now that i can differentiate z with respect to a i'll simply have partial z partial a multiplied by i also know that a itself which is a different function that can be differentiated with respect to x since i'm looking for partial z partial x so i'll simply have partials a all over partial x so notice here that partial a can cancel partial a i simply have partial z partial x which is what i'm looking for okay also if i want to differentiate z with respect to y same thing i know that since z is a function of a I can differentiate z partially with respect to what a okay now also since a is a function of x and y and i want to find partial z partial y it means i can differentiate a with respect to what y partially and that simply gives me partial a partial y such that partial a cancels partial a i'm left with what partial z partial y which is also what i'm asked to find so the only rule i can apply here is simply what chain rule of partial derivative so these are the two formulas i'm going to use to solve first of all i need to find partial z partial a because we are going to start with partial z partial x now so the first thing to do is to what, obtain partial z partial a and then the next thing to do is to simply find what partial a partial x so let's try it now and see
okay so now that i know um what to do next simply first of all this is the formula to find partial z partial x by chain rule so first thing to do is simply find partial z partial a so let's bring from a from z okay so from z equals log a we we'll simply have log a so i can simply find partial z partial a now to differentiate a logarithm function simply take the reciprocal of the given variable in front of the log function that gives you the derivative so if i want to differentiate log a simply take the inverse or the reciprocal of what a that gives you what the derivative so partial z partial a is simply one all over a you have this that becomes partial z partial a simply what the reciprocal of the given what variable all right so since i know that a itself i said let a be what x y plus 2 into x y squared minus 2 y squared this simply means now that i can say partial z partial a is simply equal to 1 all over in place of a we'll simply put in these values x y plus 2 x y plus 2 multiplies by x y squared minus 2 y squared x y squared minus 2 y squared so this gives me the partial derivative of z with respect to a so keep this aside the first part of the function or formula has been found partial z partial a next is to find a partial a with respect to what x so you now consider when x is equal to this what is the partial derivative of a with respect to only x so let's bring it out and see from a okay from a equals x y plus 2 okay multiplied by x y squared uh, minus 2 y squared now now to differentiate a with respect to x here of course i'm going to employ the product rule to make it easier let's now break the equation for easier understanding simply say let u be equal to the whole of this term here x y plus 2 and let v be equal to the whole of this term here which is x y squared minus 2 y squared okay so x y squared minus 2 y squared so i have this if that's the case then this simply now implies that a itself is simply equal to since i'm calling the whole of this term u so i simply have u dot and i'm also calling the whole of this term v becomes u dot v so this becomes what a product function which means i'm going to employ the product rule to differentiate the value of a and i want to find the a the x partially all right so you know from the from product rule the partial derivative of a with respect to x alone is simply what so we said keep u constant differentiate v with respect to x so that that is simply u partial v partial x plus now you keep v constants differentiate u partially with respect to x so i simply have v partial u partial x so that becomes the formula now i know the values of u i know the values of v okay all i need to do is simply what find partial v partial x and find partial u partial x plug into this formula and obtain partial a partial x okay so this is how it works now from u equals x y plus 2 from u equals x y plus 2 all we need to do is simply what find partial u partial x so partial u partial x is simply differentiate u with respect to x only so which means i'm going to keep y as constant and any other variable that does not contain x as constant all right so here i have x y which means y is attached to x so i will hold y as a constant and differentiate x i'm interested in finding what the a the x so i'm differentiating with respect to x i'm interested in finding the u the x so i have to differentiate with respect to x so i'll simply keep y constant if i differentiate x i simply have what one so this simply gives me one okay plus if i differentiate two two is a constant 
the derivative of every constant is simply zero so i simply have this to be zero therefore um, this implies that partial u partial x is actually equal to what y so i have this okay so i know partial u partial x so i know partial u partial x next thing now is to find what partial v partial x okay okay so from v equal to uh, the value of v give also from v equal to x y squared minus 2 y squared okay i now have to find partial v partial x so i have to differentiate v partially with respect to only x so which means every term that does not contain x will be treated as what a constant so the same way i differentiate a constant that's how i'm going to differentiate every variable that does not contain what x all right so here i have y squared attached to x so keep it as a constant bring it out y squared if i differentiate x i will simply have one okay minus here i don't have any x variable attached to what two y squared so automatically two y squared becomes a constant and the derivative of a constant simply gives us what zero so this derivative is simply zero okay so therefore this simply now implies a partial v partial x is actually what y squared times one which is simply y squared so we have this okay so if we know partial v partial x and we know partial u partial x it means we can now what find the derivative of what a with respect to x which is partial a partial x by simply employing this formula so partial a partial x all right so let's do it over here now partial a partial x is now equal to so we said u keep u and u is simply x y plus 2 so in place of u we have x y plus 2 okay times partial derivative of v with respect to x and partial v partial x there simply give us y squared okay so we simply have y squared okay all right so plus we now keep v constants and v is simply x y squared minus 2 y squared so we have x y squared minus 2 y squared now differentiate u partially with respect to x and the u the x simply gave us y so times y okay so we have this okay all right so partial a partial x is now equal to now expand the bracket with all the variables outside x y multiplied by y squared simply gives us x y cube okay plus i have 2 multiplied by y squared that simply gives me 2 y squared okay plus i have x y squared multiplied by y that gives me x y cube okay minus i have 2 y squared multiplied by y that gives me 2 y cube okay 2 y cube so i simply have this okay let's see if anything can go I have x y cube here and i have x y cube here so x y cube plus x y cube can actually add that simply gives me what 2 x y cube i have here 2 y cube minus 2 y cube so this man is off 2 y cube minus 2 y cube is actually off that's zero so which means the partial derivative of a the partial derivative of a with respect to x is simply equal to what x y cube plus x y cube which is simply 2 x y cube so i have this now i know partial a partial x and i know and i know partial z partial a which is this i can now plug into the chain rule formula for partial derivative and obtain partial z partial x and that is simply partial z partial a multiplies partial a partial x so let's do that now and see all right so i will use here all right okay so therefore partial z partial x is now equal to 
partial z partial a simply give us the whole of this variable here which is simply 1 all over x y plus 2 okay into x y squared minus 2 y squared okay multiplies by the whole of this partial a partial x and partial a partial x is simply 2x y cube so multiply by 2x y cube okay so let me take this off now of course 2x y cube multiplies 1 simply this was 2x y cube and that simply implies that the partial derivative of z with respect to x for that given function is simply 2x y cube all over x y plus 2 into x y squared minus 2 y squared all right so that becomes the answer to that partial derivative with respect to x next is to find partial z partial y okay all right so to find partial z partial y of course we see employed the chain rule formula i gave that earlier from the beginning so please you can you may wish to want to go back or um, i will still state it here anyways all right so i said it's still the same word um chain rule we are going to apply z is a function of a which is obviously we are going to differentiate z with respect to a okay so that means i have partial z partial a multiplying by here a is a function of x so i've dealt with partial a partial x to obtain partial z partial x so which means i'm going to also differentiate a here with respect to y because a is also a function of y in this equation and if i do that simply multiply partial a partial y so notice here that partial a cancels partial y i'm left with partial z partial y which is actually what i am asked to look for okay so all i need to do is what i already found partial z partial a recall partial z we obtain partial z partial a not forgetting to be simply one all over x y plus two okay into x y squared minus two y squared we obtain this for partial z partial a so this part is solved all we need to do now is what differentiate a with respect to what y okay so we see employ the product rule differentiation that we did from a equal to this we said let u be x y plus 2 and let v be x y squared minus 2 y squared so this simply means u is equal to u this simply means a is equal to u dot v which means we are going to employ the product rule of partial derivative now in this case we consider partial a partial x now we need to find partial a partial y which means we need to differentiate a with respect to what y keeping x as a constant so if we do that now the order of the equation will change a little bit it's not going to be with respect to y y and y and not x okay let's try it and see all right so this becomes partial a partial y and this becomes partial v partial y this becomes partial u partial y okay so we have this so all we need to do now we know u we know v we only need to differentiate v with respect to y and differentiate u with respect to y that's all we need to do so let's start from u from u equals x y plus 2 okay so we need to differentiate u partially with respect to y so to differentiate u with respect to y it means i'm going to now hold x as what well, a constant so i will treat x the same way i will treat every other constant in differentiation so hold x here i have x attached to y but i want to differentiate y simply keep x as a constant and differentiate y if i differentiate y here i will simply have one okay plus here i have two and that two does not contain what y so which means 2 automatically becomes a constant and the derivative of a constant is simply what 0 so this simply gives me 0 all right so partial u partial y is now simply what x times 1 simply gives us x so we'll keep this 
aside that becomes pasha u pasha y so we found um pasha u pasha y next is to find pasha v pasha y so we recall from v equals x y squared minus 2 y squared okay let's do that here now from v equals x y squared minus 2 y squared i need to find the partial derivative of v with respect to y so differentiating simply only v with respect to y so i'm going to keep every term that contains to x as what a constant so i will treat it as a constant now from this side i have x y squared so x is attached to y squared but i want to differentiate only y squared so which means i'll keep x constant differentiate only y and if i differentiate y squared i will simply have 2y okay minus here i have 2 attached to y squared so 2 normally is a constant so i'll keep it out i'll simply have 2 then differentiate y squared i will simply have 2 y okay so this simply means that partial derivative of v with respect to y is now equal to so x times 2y simply gives us 2xy okay minus uh, 2 times 2y simply gives us 4y so this becomes the partial derivative of v with respect to y okay now i know partial v partial y I know partial u partial y is simply for me to now would substitute into this equation to find the partial derivative of a with respect to y okay let's do it over here and see all right so partial a partial y we say this is equal to so from the law or from the rule it says keep u and u is simply x y plus 2 so you simply have xy plus 2 okay differentiate v with respect to y and partial v partial y simply give us 2xy minus 4y okay so we'll simply multiply that by 2xy minus 4y okay so we have this plus now you give v constants and differentiate u partially with respect to y and v gave us simply x y squared minus 2 y squared so we simply have x y squared minus 2 y squared multiplied by partial u partial x and partial u partial x simply gave us x so multiplied by x okay All right, so we can now expand this bracket and see if anything can add or subtract. All right, so partial a, partial x is now equal to, so here I have xy, I have xy multiplied by 2xy. This simply gives me what, 2x squared, y squared. So I have 2x squared, y squared. I also have xy multiplied by minus 4y okay so x y multiplied by minus 4y this simply gives me minus 4x y cube y squared sorry so that gives me minus 4x y squared okay i also have plus 2 multiplied by 2xy and that simply gives me 4xy so plus 4xy okay i also have 2 multiplied by minus 4y that simply gives me minus 8y okay i also have here xy squared multiplied by x that simply gives me plus x squared y squared okay i have minus 2y squared multiplied by x that simply gives me minus 2xy squared. Sorry, forgive me, it's a little bit jammed. Okay, let's see if we can collect like terms now. I have 2x squared y squared here, and I have x squared y squared here. So these two can go 2x squared y squared plus x squared y squared simply gives us 3x squared y squared. Okay, let's put that down here. So partial a partial y is simply we have that to be 3x squared 
y squared okay let's check out for more okay variables all right so here i have minus 4xy squared i have minus 2xy squared there so that can as, as well add minus 4xy squared minus 2xy squared simply gives us minus 6xy squared okay let's just check for more okay so um we we'll simply have here okay so there's nothing else adding or subtracting so we we'll simply have here 4xy minus 8y so we'll bring them down plus 4xy okay minus 8y so this becomes the partial derivative of a with respect to y so if we've obtained this now it becomes easier for us simply plug into the chain rule partial z partial a already found which is this now we know partial a partial y so we we'll multiply these two derivatives together that will give us simply partial z partial y so let's do it and see okay so partial z partial y is now equal to so we simply said partial z partial a which is this so we have one all over x y plus 2 okay um, multiplies by x y squared minus 2 y squared okay this multiplies by partial a partial y and partial a partial y give us the whole of this 3 x squared y squared minus 6 x y squared okay so we have 3 x squared y squared minus 6 x y squared okay plus 4 x y minus 8 y okay plus 4 x y minus 8 y all right so we have this so the whole of this value simply multiplies one we can now obtain that the partial derivative of z with respect to y is simply equal to 3x squared y squared minus 6xy squared plus 4xy minus 8y all over xy plus 2 okay into xy squared minus 2y squared so that gives us the partial derivative to that function with respect to y all right guys i hope you find this video very interesting please if you do i would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section like the video and of course um don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel i will see you in the next video with more problems on partial derivative thanks guys and cheers